Welcome back. Once again, I have a backlog of Lee Chess Rapid games that I would like to go through. The idea, of course, is to get better at chess, and I try to do that by looking at my mistakes, trying to figure out what I should have played instead. And one of you very helpfully provided me with a keyboard shortcut that would help a little bit here. What I've been doing is turning the lines on and off here, so I won't see what the engine is recommending. Uh, one of you pointed out that pressing Z will get rid of all of that, uh, including the lines, and then I can press the Z key is again to bring it back. And that'll get rid of this stuff here in the move list, where it's hard not to look and see what I should have played instead. So that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that here. But I have to know where my mistakes were because I'm not very good at figuring that out without this uh, engine. So anyway, it's I, I'm gonna try that. It looks like I gained a little bit of an advantage at the beginning, but then I gave it away. My opponent didn't notice, but then I gave it away again, and my opponent gave away their advantage. And then finally, we had a draw for a while, but then they gave it to me near the end. Okay, this one, through the end game, I remember thinking I was lost, thinking my opponent had an advantage and I was just barely hanging on, but that they were going to push through. But apparently we were drawn this whole time until they messed up. Okay, so let's just go to this point. Uh, let's see, the graph disappears too, if I press the Z, right? Yep. Now it's just move times cross table. Okay, so what I've got to do is click here on the graph and then press Z before I see what the moves should have been. Okay, well, let's do that and then press Z. Okay, so at this point in the game, my opponent has just moved their king over. I don't know why they did that. And I messed up here. I gave my, my opponent something. What did I play? Okay, I castled. So that wasn't the best move then. I thought it was. And not only is it putting my rook on an open file, but it's getting my king to safety. I guess it lines my... My king up with that, but those pawns are safe, aren't they? Well, certainly the front pawn is. Maybe, maybe I should have pushed this pawn forward, which threatens their knight. Or maybe, maybe I should have put my knight here, threatening their queen. I really don't know. I'm going to press the Z key and then turn on the engine lines and see what I should have played. It says I should have long castled. Oh, well, I didn't even think of that. Well, I tend to not long castle just as a matter of, you know, a habit, I guess, because usually it's a lot easier to get the pieces out of the way on the other side. And when I have a choice, that seems better. And in this case, they already have the queen aiming at that. They already have a bishop aiming right here. And it looks like it won't be too much trouble before too long to get a knight in there. Yeah, I don't know that I would have considered long castling. Wow, that would have put this rook over here on the D file. All right, well, yeah, one of you hopefully can tell you tell uh, tell me why I would want to put my king over here where there's no pawn in front of it, lined up with my queen, then they're just going to put this rook here, aren't they? Uh, to try to get some sort of pen going on there? Yeah, I don't understand that at all. Well, my, my opponent uh, did not realize why that was a blunder. It's a, only a blunder, only a blunder, if they take this pawn now. And that's because after I take back, they'll take the with check. So it's worth giving up their knight for that, even though I'm currently up two pawns. And I'd be up another one. I'd be up three points of material after they gave up three points of material for two, right? After that exchange. And then I would just move my king over. It says I wouldn't. It says I would block with the queen. Okay, I might because I'm up, I'm up three points of material at that point. And they would be ahead somehow. Okay, so if they took that, my only move would be to take back, right? And then their only move would be to take here with check. And it would be slightly worse to get out of check. I would want to block with either my knight or my... Oh, because they're going to get this bishop. If I block with my queen, they're definitely going to take that, aren't they? No, it says if I block with my queen, they'll take my queen. Wait, what? Sorry, isn't this bishop undefended? Okay, so if I block this check with my queen, the bishop's undefended now. Why wouldn't they take it? It says that goes back to even, but they maintain their advantage if they trade here. I'm going to probably take back with my knight, but taking with the king would be fine. But if I take back with my knight, then my knight's guarding the bishop, but they're still going to get it. Okay, so let's say I took here. They're going to take my bishop now, and then would I take back? Okay, and then they take here, and we're even on material. We each have two rooks and a minor piece. They have a slight advantage as long as I play one of those top four moves. My best moves would be g6, rook to f2, I guess because that pawn is hanging, or rook to f6 to just threaten that rook. But if I played rook to f6, oh, it says they would just take it. They wouldn't come down here trying to get this pawn or double up. Okay, well, I don't understand that at all. Okay, but anyway, they took here, and I took back. They played here, and then the, my next... I'm up minus three, but I already saw the lines. It says I need to play rook to f2, or knight to d4, or rook a to c8, or g6. But instead I played d4, and that was bad. I assume that was bad because it gives up this pawn. Yes, but they didn't take it. They got their knight out of danger, and I should have protected this pawn. I should have protected my e-pawn. Okay, I do understand that, and yeah, I did leave the lines on it uh, without thinking about it. I didn't think about it, and I came forward with this pawn, which allowed them to take there with check, but they still didn't. They went here, I guess, thinking they needed two pieces to take that. 
But now that they have two pieces on it, defending it won't do me any good, although it says I still should. The engine still thinks I should put my rook up there. And that's my best move. Okay, well, let's turn off the... Let's see. Yeah, because if I, if I click the Z, then I won't know when, I went, when we went back to drawn again. Because I can't see the graph. Okay, I'll keep my finger on the Z uh, until, until we need it, I think. So anyway, I played here. My opponent did that. I had to move out of check. And they, they, ju they were just ahead for quite a little while here until right about here they did not play their best they're up plus three but that was an inaccuracy that takes us down to plus one see that should have been a mistake that should have been counted as a mistake to go that far from plus three to plus one but only if i play knight to e3 well i did play knight to e3 because that's a fork I, I mean i saw that and here my opponent messed up they should have moved this rook over to challenge my rook but instead they they moved the bishop to challenge my rook so we were even for a long time i can turn that off so the engine won't ruin my computer uh, I moved this over thinking that if they move the bishop, I still get to take their rook for the knight, right? So they moved their bishop. So I went here and then they ran away. So I was able to get their rook for the knight. And now we're even and we're even on material. But for some reason, let's see, where was it that I started thinking that my opponent was ahead? Okay, got rid of the rooks. I have a, I have a passed pawn. So I should have thought that I was ahead here because I'm the only one with the passed pawn. The problem is that their king can come forward. So I brought my king. They came forward. So I defended my pawn. Uh, and I defended the bishop by moving it close to the pawn. Okay, so I should have thought that I was ahead here, but for some reason I thought that they were ahead. I had to take that, I think, and then I moved that to a dark square so they couldn't get it. Yeah, so we just basically shuffled our pieces a lot, but where did... Okay, see, they... Wait, did I mess up there? Yeah, why, why didn't I put this here? It doesn't say it's a mistake to go all the way over here because... Let's see, how did that work? They went here, and when they moved, I went after their pawn... Thinking it didn't matter if they took this, I would create a passed pawn over here. Okay, so that worked. It looks like move 61 is where they blundered, so I'm going to turn off the engine now, or turn off the, the analysis part. Okay, so they checked me, and I went down, thinking I could still get this pawn down here, and they would have to trade their bishop for it. And that's what happened. I was able to get my pawn this far, and I went ahead and put it there, because they would have to trade their bishop for it. Because now, their king can't touch either one of these pieces. They're going to have to move this pawn. But first, they're going to want to get their king over there. So uh, we brought our kings. Oh, that was the blunder. Really? We were drawn until that? I'm glad that the, the symbol still showed up there. I think maybe they should have gone here and then pushed the pawn. Because then I would have had to have moved my bishop. But no, I could have just moved my bishop out. I don't know. What should they have played? Oh, I was right. Only one move. King to g6. And then it says king to h5 would be their next move. They'd want their king in here to help protect that spot when they pushed that forward. Well, I, at least I was right about that was the only move. My opponent didn't know that was the only move. They thought what they had to do was keep my king from coming, but they can't keep my king from getting over there because my bishop guards these squares, and once my king moves, my king's guarding that one. I did know that. I know that their back pawn is vulnerable, so they went back, and now I'm able to pick off their back pawn. Oh, that was a further mistake? Oh, and now it's mate in 58? Well, I found that. No, I'm kidding. I didn't find mate in 58. I was just able to pick up their back pawn. And after this, uh, my opponent couldn't do anything, so they resigned here. I think it's safe to say that neither my opponent nor I understood any of those blunders at the first half of the game. But back here, I think I think what had to happen here, the reason that they had to come here, is because they weren't going to be able to get over there. Like, set right, with my bishop cutting that off, and once they come here and I, my king moves over, my king's cutting off that square too. So they're just wasting time and allowing me to get to their h-pawn. But if they go here... They, my king can't do anything to their h-pawn because they can move up and their king is, is guarding that square, right? From over here on h5. And incidentally, preventing my pawn from moving forward. So I think they could have enforced the draw at that point, maybe. I don't know what I could have done then. Well, hopefully they learned from this, learned that going away allowed me to get over there in time before they could do anything about that pawn. They, they didn't have time to get in there. Because backing up here, if they had moved in, I just would have taken the pawn. So they were a move late, and that's because they wasted time going going out there and back. I think that's what that is. All right, well, I'm going to take a look at the next one. All right, in this game, I lost. You can see that from the graph here, but we were even all the way out until about move 39. There were a couple of mistakes right in uh, these parts here going through the very short middle game. Looks like the middle game was very short where I had a slight advantage. I had a slight advantage, but the game really hinged on one move and it was right there on move 39. So I'm going to turn off the evaluation and go to move 39. So in this position, I was playing with the black pieces. It looks fairly locked up and we're dead even according to that graph that is now gone. So I can't see it anymore. And I don't know if I only had one move or if I had multiple moves here, but what I did play was taking this pawn, but that turned out to be the blunder that lost me the game. Why is that? 
What should I have done? Should I have checked? No, because they're... Oh, maybe I should have checked. Because nothing's guarding that pawn. Okay. Oh, but their king would be guarding it. Wait, wait. If I had checked, they would have just moved toward it. I don't think they would have taken it with their rook because I would have taken with the knight. So they'd gone toward me. And then what, I would have checked again? Because that would have been their... Right? If I check... Other than capturing with the rook, their only legal move is to move toward the knight. No, they could have moved away as well. What if they'd moved away? What if they'd moved toward my rook? They have two legal moves. They had moved toward my rook. What would I have done? I don't know. Come down here where my pawn would be protecting it, but then they would just take that bishop, which I think is what they did on the next turn. Yeah, because what I did was take this pawn. Then they took this pawn, and now they have two passed pawns. They already have one if they can just get their bishop out of the way, and it's pretty easy to get their bishop out of the way here. I don't know. I, I was thinking this check, but, but like I said, they come for the rook. Then what do I come over here? Or I'm aiming at this pawn, and then they come back. They can't come back because, because of the knight. I'm going to guess that's what it was. Let's turn the, the stuff back on here and click the lines. Yeah, knight to g2, check. And their best move would have been to come toward it. But would that have been their only move? No. Oh, that would have been really bad if they went toward my rook. I did not know that. Okay, what if they went toward my rook then? I should have let the rook go, checked them here. They would have taken my rook. Oh, and that was the only defender of their, oh my. Okay, backing up. So what if they had come toward my knight? Then I could have checked them again. Oh, it would have been a repetition. If I had checked them, if they, oh, they can't come down here. They can't go down there. So they only have two legal moves, left and right. And if they had gone this way, it would have been a huge advantage for me because I could have checked here and won their rook. So they would have come this way and then I would have checked them again. And yes, it would have been a repetition. F3, knight to E1 check. They would have gone to E3 and I would have repeated. Okay, I think I understand that. But if they had gone toward the rook, it would have been so much better for me because of this check, which removes the defender of their rook. So it's okay if they take mine because then I get theirs and I'm aiming at the bishop. So they need to move it, but they don't have that many places to move it. Bishop to C8 and I can keep my knight there preventing their passed pawn from moving forward while I go with mine. I understand that. But since I went here, they were able to take this pawn. Now they have two passed pawns and there's not much I can do about it. I did start advancing this one, but they start advancing that one. That was a further blunder that I don't know what I should have done, but it doesn't matter at this point because I'm already behind and they were able to just pick off pieces and uh, get a queen. So a few moves later, it was checkmate. There was nothing I could do about that. But it was all because I didn't check there. So I need, I need to, especially in end games, look for checks. Got it. In this game, it looks like I was ahead most of the time, but two points late in the game, I gave away a huge advantage. And one point fairly early in the middle game, I, I gave away a huge advantage. So I'm just going to look at those points, again, using the Z shortcut key to make the engine moves, you know, all that stuff disappear. But one thing I wanted to check is that in the archive, it says this was a Sicilian defense, and I don't play the Sicilian, so what happened here? Okay, my opponent opened with knight to f3, and I played this, but I don't think that's the Sicilian. This is the ready, isn't it? The opening book says, oh, it's the Zucker Tort opening. I thought that was I thought that was called the ready. Oh, I'm way off. It says that's the Zucker Tort opening. So when I played this, it's the Sicilian invitation. Okay, so now if they play e4, it's the Sicilian. And they did play e4, so now okay, now okay. I played the Sicilian defense without realizing it. One reason I played c5 there was because uh when my opponents have done this in the past and I've played d5, my opponent just plays d5 or d4 and then we're in we end up in a london or a queen's gambit declined or something like that and i didn't want that so i played c5 to prevent d5 but then it put us in a sicilian which i am definitely not familiar with because i don't play this i'm sure i have back in the past when i was trying to figure out how chess worked but i haven't given it any serious thought right so let's just skip on to here which uh, turn off the engine there and i had an advantage here and i didn't take it what I did play was d4. Okay, and that's just now what I thought I probably should have played. So it makes sense that I would have played that. I Obviously, it's threatening the knight, telling it to move somewhere. I guess the problem is that it gets out of the way of the bishop. So what should I have done instead? Should I have played h6? It's almost always h6 that I miss at this stage of the game. So I'm going to click the engine and see if that's what it was. h6 was one of them. I could have played h6 and still had an advantage. Well, I'm good with that. But knight to d4 is what I should have played. That's what it says. What is it aiming for? Their bishop? Couldn't they just move it? It says that they would not move their bishop. Okay, so I play that. Their best move is either h3 or f5. It says if they play f5, I'll just take it. Oh, maybe that's why I'm moving this up here is to help prevent f5? Wow. Okay, so when I played when I played d4, f5 is not their best move. Their best move is to come here, which... 
What what does that do? Again, h6 was my best move. This time I found it. Okay. But now my opponent has an advantage. I don't understand why. And it says here it's because they can play f5, but they didn't play f5. They brought that knight back behind the pawn, and then we were fine again uh, until very near the end. Let's just go to here where I had a minus 3 advantage, and then I'll click the z key. So I have a minus 3 advantage, and I gave it all away. What did I play? I played f5, so I should not have played f5. Maybe because I still needed this pawn to, uh, to guard that pawn because they have a knight and a rook pointed there. Should I have just taken this knight? Or should I have just taken this one? Maybe that's what I should have done. I should have just taken their front knight on e5. If they took back, I would take back with my queen. And I think I would be doing okay. I don't know, because then they could check me and, I could, and my queen would be basically hanging there. Yeah, no, I don't know about that. Well, like I said, what I did play was f5, but that wasn't it. So what should I have done? Should I have put my queen on f5 to keep that pawn from moving forward? No, because then they could have forked me right here and probably ended up winning the bishop. All right, then I'm going to guess it was taking the knight on e4. Let's turn this back on and see what it says. Uh, it was none of that. It was a5 or rook to d8 or e8 or king to g8 or rook to c8. So I guess what the engine is saying that is that all of these pieces are in the best place that I can have them in right now. I shouldn't move any of them. The queen is defending this pawn, so it's safe to move the A pawn. The bishop doesn't need defending right now, so it's safe to, to not defend it. I should be getting the king out of this mess or bringing the rook to one of these files, which are semi-open, at least from my end. Okay, well, that's a little tough for me, but was there an only move on... Yes, there was an only move on my opponent's part. They had to take here with the rook. Oh, but they didn't. They took there with the knight, and I'm not sure why they chose that one. But, oh, well, it's not check, but neither was the other one. The other one threatened my queen. This one didn't threaten my queen. That's the problem with that one, I think. It allowed me to take that knight with the pawn. My opponent committed the inaccuracy of taking back, which allowed me to, you know, to take because my bishop's guarding that square, so I did that. And now my opponent played f5 to lock their knight in there. And it wasn't one of my best moves, but I took their queen. And the reason that I did that is because I figured it would be a lot harder for them to mate me here. And I guess I was right. It, I mean, it's still minus 5. But I didn't know that I was ahead here. What I should have played instead of taking the queen was queen to h1 check, which would have forced their king out to f2. And then I could have taken this pawn with check. And it says they would have gone to e1, but I don't think they would have. I think they would have blocked with the rook. No, they wouldn't have blocked with the rook because of my bishop. Oh, Okay, yeah, that, there's, there's an only move there. I take the rook, I mean the pawn next to the rook. They basically go to e1, and I don't know what the rest of the line is, but I see that. Uh, but this one wasn't a blunder. It just, I see why that was better than taking the queen. But again, I, I thought I was behind there, or at least in serious trouble because of all the pieces they had pointed near my queen, and I was playing defense. If you've been hanging around my channel, you know I do that a lot. I play defense when I should be playing offense. I don't realize that I'm ahead or drawn, and... And I'm, so I'm trying to trade off pieces that they have attacking me when instead I should be using my pieces to attack them. I need to work on that. I need to, to get better at determining when I have a shot at attacking them. But just out of curiosity, where did I give away the, the advantage? One more time, I'm going to keep my finger on the Z button and I'm watching the graph at the bottom. Okay, here. Whoops. Okay, well, now we know what I played. I should not have played that. And I was ahead here. If only I had not taken that pawn. Why did I take the pawn? And why is it bad? It's protected by my... Oh, is it because it allows the jack? I think that's why. That's why that's bad. Okay, so I should have... Well, maybe I should have taken the pawn with my rook. Or maybe I shouldn't have taken it. I don't know. Yeah, but I think I needed my bishop here to prevent the check, which would win the other bishop. But once this bishop goes out here, they can check me. And if I bring it back to block, they win the light squared bishop. So I'm going to guess it was taking their c pawn with my rook. Turn the lines back on. It was not. It, it was just moving this here. Oh, to keep them from checking me. Okay, or I could have just come this way, aiming at that pawn, which is currently protected by the knight. And it says that they would then come down here, threatening my light squared bishop. Wait, sorry. Rook c5, rook to e7, and then it says I would capture on f5. Oh, that's not c5, that's c4. It says I should go here, aiming at this pawn. Oh, that makes sense. That pawn's not defended, and if they move it forward, I can just take it. So they would come down here. I would take that, but doesn't that give up my bishop? Oh no, because now they're knight's hanging. They would have to push this forward first to protect their knight. And then I would pull this bishop back. I'm not sure why they wouldn't move down to challenge it. I guess then I could come over here to protect it and pick up their other pawn. Well, that's pretty complicated. Okay. Well, I did that, which brought us to even, but only if they checked. Fortunately, my opponent did not see the check. 
but yeah, they, they had, I, I, I think I probably saw this during the game. I don't remember specifically. This was like three nights ago, but yeah, I think right after I played that, I realized they could check me and pick up the other bishop, but instead they did that, which allowed this wait, was that my, oh yeah, because, because of the pin. Okay. Bad. I did find that. I'm pretty proud of myself for finding that because those two pieces were on the same diagonal and my opponent resigned here. Obviously I didn't know it was minus 96, but yeah, I, I see why that's a blunder. I do understand that. And I was hoping to get two more games in here, but I just don't have the time. I'll have to get them later. Thank you for spending your time here. I'll see you next time.